everyone, I've been using this iPad Pro for around a year now. I brought it on a lot of bike journeys. I used to always bring a MacBook, but you know, you get a few scratches on the screen. And also it is quite heavy and bulky to bring. Recently I went to the 16, which is even bigger. See, I still actually sometimes bring it on a bike, but you know, if I go on an intense camping trip, then... It's just not ideal. So there is the iPad Pro now. Let's compare that with the small MacBook Pro and with the big MacBook Pro. Oof. <laughs> so this is not only quite small, it's very light. As you can see, I'm, a, I'm an Apple fan. <laughs> yeah, so to be honest, the MacBooks, they're all bought by myself. The iPad, I just got this uh, to try out and uh, to see how it works. And I have to say, I was pretty amazed by it. And in a short time, within this year, much more apps came available. I'm using Photoshop and Lightroom. Adobe has a lot of apps that you can use. And then there's the pen, the magic pen. What I've been using most is Lightroom, which I use to edit my photos. If you're looking for device that you can quickly edit your photos on and you want to do it professionally enough, the Lightroom app is actually really good. I edit everything in the Lightroom app. I'm paying also for the Adobe membership. So I have, I don't know, I think a terabyte and everything I edit whenever I'm on Wi-Fi, all my photos, edited photos get saved on the cloud and then I can work further on them on the iMac or the MacBook Pro. In my Lightroom app, I do all my first edits and then when I'm home, I can do the final touch. My uh, pictures get published in magazines. I need a screen that's calibrated well and stuff. So that's why I do the less editing on my MacBook with a second screen. So I've got Lightroom here. Yeah, I put my SD card in here and then that way I can put it here in the iPad. I imported all these photos, picture that I haven't edited yet let's see i mostly first go for automatic then it already does some color managing and light managing it's actually almost the same as lightroom on the macbook because you have that pen it's very easy to make changes you can really play and it's, it goes really fast you can just nicely sit on the couch or well sit in your tent <laughs> and just play around with the settings yeah, it's all in Dutch. <laughs> Sorry guys, I have it all in Dutch. So I open it in Photoshop now, in PS Express. This is really great for thumbnails. At first you can choose the size, it's all there. And then you can choose a nice filter. For example, the HR. It really stands out. I like that for my thumbnails. Um, you can make some text. Let's sail with a bicycle. It's all very easy. So if you don't have that much experience, it's just really good. You can put stickers on it and everything. I can export it. And another thing I really love is Adobe Photoshop Mix. If you want to take something out and put that on your thumbnail, for example here, I want this church but I don't want to use the rest. And look, with the pencil, I can really easily choose what I want to keep. Things like this are kind of hard on the MacBook. And here it's so easy. You can even uh, zoom in if you want to do the really small bits. Basically, this is a drawing tablet as well. Recently, they made an update and you can also use this as an extra screen for your MacBook or iMac. So when I'm working in Photoshop and I want to do something very precise, I can drop it to my tablet and work over there. So I loaded this one in and then you can put the church in. Of course, this doesn't make sense, but anyway, just to show you. So that's something I do in that app. And then I go to photos. Then another function you have is over here. And then you can start drawing. 
So let's say I want this, I want this, and then I can start drawing around this church, for example. Okay, nice, nice, nice. I, you know, I really love drawing, but I never had time for it anymore. And now I can just do it with a uh, iPad, you know, feel a nice heart. Um, I don't know, maybe uh, put something around him, uh, something like that. Um, yeah, so you can do that as well. If you want to design things like thumbnails, that's also great for that. And then I can save it. Before you get a hang of it, it could take a while. Uh, every week you find another option. There's just so much you can do with it. So that's all the photo editing uh, I use. I bought an app for video editing, but I haven't used it. And that's just because I love editing videos on a big screen. I don't know how I could that on an iPad. I have to be honest, I didn't try it. Like I said, it's Luma Vision. It's somewhere over here. I use Final Cut Pro. What you actually can do is you can edit something in Luma Vision and then you can export it and use it in Final Cut Pro. So that is possible. I just unfortunately didn't try that out. I don't know why, I just, well, I, I do know why, because when I'm on a trip, I make photos and videos and to edit my photos, that takes enough, enough time and I don't really have the time to edit videos when I'm on a trip. I was always a bit scared that I would lose my shots, photos, videos. Now I put them in here and he puts it to the cloud and that makes me really a more relaxed person because then when my camera falls in the water or someone steals it, at least I have my photos and that's the most important thing. The sound is pretty amazing. If you want to watch a video. Oh. <laughs> I was supposed when you have that magnetic thing, you can just like, because I put it wrong. <laughs> Sorry. It's pretty late. I'm filming this actually at midnight because the testing time is already finished. The iPad gets picked up tomorrow and I'm someone who really does things at the last minute. It's not so organized as it could be. That's just something I'm kind of improving but still not that great. So here I've got all my news apps of course but it's all in Dutch. If I want to read the newspaper, the Trouw is one of the papers I work for. Another thing, I don't know, you might be interested in that, you can play games on it. I used to really love gaming, but since I'm a writer, photographer and a YouTuber, I don't really have much time for that anymore. But I downloaded a few games. I really love this game. Samaros, really, really cool game. Very cute. So overall, the iPad comes really close to the MacBook. And I'm actually wondering because there's also now the app Photoshop, how long it will take before um, we won't need a MacBook anymore and we will just have small devices. I didn't get any scratches uh, on the screen on my iPad while I've brought this through Italy last year. You might have seen the trip. Um, yeah, when I went through the heat and uh, some really bad stony, rocky roads and I had this with me and yeah, I have it in an, ex an extra case. So it's really put some clothes with it and it's fine, you know. The thing is with a MacBook, if you want to bring it on a bike trip, it is a bit more sensitive, you know, because here you've got an opening so dust can get in. I started putting actually a sheet of paper in here because if, the, if there's any dirt on the keyboard that happened to me a few times and then you bring it on the bike then you get a bit scratches you know because of the if there's any sand um, yeah you know and if you camp you do get in sandy areas and dirty areas uh, then well if you don't love your MacBook too much you can just bring it but if you do love your MacBook it's handy to have an iPad I hope you've uh, this uh, review was uh, useful 
I actually had plans to make this somewhere in a field and put my bike there and my stuff. But uh, I've got a lot of ideas for flux <laughs> and videos, but I don't always have the time to um, do those ideas. So, and you might see, you might see that my it's a bit thick here. You might have seen it. Um, got my wisdom teeth removed. Uh, it was a bit worse than expected. For a few days, I looked like a hamster. Still a bit hard to talk, but. Um, yeah, I just had to shoot this video because tomorrow they're going to collect my iPad. I love you, buddy. I'm going to miss you. An iPhone is very handy, of course, if you quickly want to put something on Instagram or Facebook, if you're really into social media, which I am now because of YouTube. I wasn't like that before, guys. It is very handy to have that iPhone, that's true. But I prefer working on the iPad because it's just... A bigger screen, you can do almost everything you want on this. The only thing is that you can't um, use WhatsApp on it. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you thought this was useful. Um, it would be great if you liked this video and you can subscribe below. And I uh, hope to see you next time. Bye!